And we continue with more information about our wonderful partners. Now we're going to talk to Marcus Lynn. So you had a really ambitious goal. The DevNet certifications hadn't launched yet, and you said you were going to get everyone in your team DevNet certified. And did you all make it under the DevNet 500? All five of us was, uh, man managed to do the certifications in time and included in the DevNet 500. So we're proud of that. Very good. Very good. We're so happy to hear it. And Congratulations for that. Now let's get back to why you're doing this. Um, what are customers looking for in terms of automation and programmability? So most of them are investing in new platforms and new technologies. Thing is, those platforms can either be run like before with a CLI or a GUI, the way it always has worked, or they can be run with APIs or automation tools like uh, Ansible or Terraform. They chose the platform with this in mind, but often get stuck with the CLI or clicking around in the GUI. The engineers have started to learn Python or gotten quite far on this, but it's still a long way from there to getting a fully automated infrastructure. They know that they are on the right path and what the goal is, but getting there is hard. What's the steps? How do you align the network automation with the server automation? How do you tie the infra automation into the application rollouts? So these are the answers that our customers are looking for. The bits and pieces are already there, but laying the puzzle has all, all, all begun. So how is your software practice helping with all of those challenges and all of those needs? We help them laying the puzzle. We use our experience and skills to step by step getting their bits and pieces to fit together. We develop the software that makes the, sure that the network is there when the service is, server is provisioned. We relieve the customer from having the discrepancies between the documentation and the reality by making the documentation system the source of truth so that the provisioning is done from the documentation itself. Um, so the main pain point that we see is that they want to automate and get going, but the data tasks are taking up all available resources. As we help them, they start to free up some time and they can start putting in some real effort into the automation uh, work themselves. Um, they start working alongside with us, taking over the automation projects and becoming more and more independent. And by doing that, we are able to start helping the next customer. It's quite a beautiful system. It, it sounds like you're saving people time. You really want to get them to be more efficient. How will the DevNet specialization help you help customers even more. One thing that we would able to do with um, the DevNet specialized partners to team up with them. Uh, we're small and yet we want to deliver to larger companies, of course. Uh, so as we see it, no one can be best at everything, but every, everyone can be best at something. So to put it on, in Cisco terms, we own our edge. Uh, by looking who has the DevNet specialization, we know when someone else is, is owning their edge and can leverage that by teaming up and deliver even more. I think that's even a hashtag, own your edge. I'll have to ask Oliver. I'm pretty sure he's used it. And it, and it was even you know, big on screen at Partner Summit. So that's right. I'm glad to know you're owning your edge. And what advice do you have for other companies that would like to own their edge? Um, I'd like to think that a small focus group with a high skill set instead of a large broad team has a better aim and can keep the knowledge sharing quite tight. Um, and also to make sure that uh, to bring in both programming folks and some more infra focused people on the team to cover the journey from both ends. Uh, also, I'd recommend to talk to your local Cisco team uh, where uh, I, perhaps someone has taken the certifications in order to get some tips and tricks around what training to use and mat what material to use. So what do you see as the main benefits of applying for the DevNet specialization? There's a hundred ways of reaching the same goal when building automation and software. Uh, half of them might be bad. What really matters for the customer is quality and delivery time. And with this DevNet specialization, uh, you can be certain that you have the processes and skills needed to deliver quality on time, every time. Um, second thing is that one of our main challenges as a small company has always been proving our trustworthiness. Uh, we are small and yet not known by everyone in the business. business. Uh, by getting this stamp of approval from Cisco, we overcome this, which together with our customer success stories builds a foundation for gaining new customers' trust. Third thing is, by getting the recognition, our ability to attract talent grows. Talent, you definitely already have on the team because um, 
you know, you've done so much, even since the last time we spoke when the DevNet certifications hadn't launched yet, now they've launched. So how do you see the, what your team now has to offer because of the DevNet certifications, helping your customers even more? Um, so each individual in our team has been able to focus their attention where one has deepened their skills in DevOps and infrastructure as code, another one has spoken primarily on data center APIs for ACI and UCS and Intersight, for example, uh, with a clear learning path that fits their own interests, that makes us able to together deliver a complete suit for bringing the automation to our customers. I'm, I'm so glad you're helping so many people. And if you could let us know who from the Cisco side helped you, you know, when you were going through this process to get ready for the certifications, to get ready for the specialization, anyone you'd like to give a shout out to? Uh, well, of course, Chuck Stickney has done a fantastic job guiding us through the certifications, making sure that we have all the materials that we need. Uh, and also Sarah Wilburski and Eleni and Mark on the Swedish team, they're always there supporting us to perform even better and faster every time. Wonderful team. Thank you to, to everyone who's worked together you know, on the Cisco side to help our partners be successful, particularly Meridot. And congratulations on your DevNet specialization for partners. Thanks a lot. It means a lot to too.